In this video, we'll prepare a full week four cast lineup on the main slate on DraftKings and our favorite GPP stacks coming up next. Hello, everyone. I'm Eric Lee. And I'm Michael Wiley, and we're the Fantasy Football Consultants. Eric, exciting week. Let's get right to it. Sound good? Let's get in the studio. All right, Michael, let's start with that full cash lineup. We're going to start at running back because that's the position that more consistently pays off its salary. So if we want to pay up, we could do it. The question is, do we want to get the tail of the McCaffrey's or the Henry's this week? Uh, I don't think it's worth the money. And I'll tell you why. It's because of the options that we have. I'm going to go down to Provo, where I came from, and scroll down to my guy from BYU at $6,100, Jamal Williams, who, let's face it, he was one of the top scorers this last week. He he has been used well in Detroit, and it looks like Swift's not only going to not play, he's going to be out for a few weeks. This is a huge pickup for those um, that have him available in their, their leagues more generally. Uh, he had a huge week this last week. Uh, I think, uh, uh, you, you know, in a loss to the to the Vikings uh, with DeAndre Swift was in um, and he's up against a backfield uh, that that was crushed by Cordell Patterson this last week or a, a defense that was crushed by Cordell Patterson this last week. Uh, so I think he's, uh, you know, he's a veteran runner. He's a solid option this week. Huge uh, for this price. Pretty easy pick for me. What do you think? Oh, you're so kind, Michael. You just told the, the defense that, that Patterson crushed. You didn't mention my Seahawks. Thank you very much uh, for hiding that. But yes, yes, it's great to go against the Seahawks. Look, Jamal Williams already had a role on this team, splitting carries with Swift. He'll keep that role and inherit most of what Swift did. Huge bell cow back this, th this week. And... You know what? I think he'll get more involved in the passing game. He has a background as uh, in previous years of being a pass receiver. Love this pick, and I love for six thousand one hundred dollars. FanDuel and Yahoo price these guys up basically equal to uh, their other player. DraftKings didn't do that. Let's take advantage. Okay, so I think we still uh, we still can pay a little bit down, but for a guy who's usually at the very, very, very top, and he's still at the top because of his talent and capability, but he's priced down a little bit. It's seventy seven hundred dollars, and that's Austin Eckler, and that's because of what he's done so far uh, from a fantasy, you know, from an expectation to reality. But look, he's still producing every week, and even with. Uh, really some some bad outings in terms of how he's been used uh, he hasn't been getting the ball enough he, he did get 10 targets uh, last week and he's still giving you know getting those passes you know in, in DraftKings you get a full PPR Austin Eckler still is a stud even when he doesn't have great weeks uh, and he's up against a Houston defense that should produce a great week the Chargers need to do something different uh, and I think it's using Austin, Austin Eckler even more. And I think you're going to see that. So I think this is a bargain. Yeah, I have two words. Game script. They got He got game scripted out as a rusher last week. Nightmare start against Jacksonville. They had some turnovers early. And then they were playing from behind the entire game. And they just didn't use him on rushing. I don't think that's going to be a problem this week. They're six and a half point favorites against a much weaker Houston team. And you said the Houston defense was bad, but boy, have they been bad this year against rushers dead last last week. They allowed a backup running back in Khalil Herbert to run for 20 carries on 157 yards. I'm going to go out on a limb, Michael Eckler's better than Herbert. So <laughs> I think we could be looking at for the first time this season, a huge game for Austin Eckler. And like you said, we get him at a slight discount of what we've used to see him at. So, Eric, I've been dominating so far on running back, so I'm going to hand the receivers over to you. How do you think? All right. So let me show you some. Let me show you some power at wide receiver. This is a guy that we told you guys about in the preseason that we're high on, and he has not disappointed. 
It's the Indianapolis Colts only quality wide receiver, Michael Pittman Jr. Michael, what's not surprising is his targets. 13 and 9. He's by far Matt Ryan's favorite target. But what we told you in the preseason is we believe Matt Ryan will be more accurate because he has been in past seasons than Carson Wentz. And he has. Look at the catch percentage on those many targets. It's great to see. And then he has just a dream matchup here against uh, a, a defense that <laughs> struggles against the run, against the pass. You know. Yeah, no, I agree. Obviously, it really hurt to not have him two weeks ago. Having him back this week was very helpful. They got their first win. Uh, they're going to keep going back to Michael Pittman Jr., uh, again, PPR league, this is, uh, I think, a really nice price for Michael Pittman Jr. All right. We're having a good time spending money, both of us. So I better come up with some some bargains here. But I don't want to sacrifice in quality. I have two more wide receivers that, quite honestly, are, I think, underpriced. Uh, they're real bargains. So let's go all the way down here at $4,500. And let's get Romeo Dobbs. We asked ourselves in all in the preseason, what's going to happen to all the many targets on that Devontae Adams has vacated? And in the first couple of weeks, we really uh, there's been some frustration by Aaron Rodgers of some of these young receivers being able to come through. Um, and we saw last week how Romeo Dobbs really stepped up and became a reliable target to Rodgers. Now, keep in mind, Sammy Watkins is now on the IR. So Dobbs is a starter. He's at a game which the Green Bay Packers are expected to dominate. Uh, remember, it looks like Mac Jones is not going to play on the other side. So for $4,500, sign me up for Dobbs. Yeah, you still need to, uh, even though that game should go in Green Bay's favor such that uh, they won't need to throw a whole lot, you still need to throw the ball, get the quick passes out. And I think Dobbs has become the guy for those. He's maybe not necessarily, you know, the number one receiver in terms of reliability, but in terms of target, last week he was. The last wide receiver is also a little bit of a bargain, Michael. It's Noah Brown at $4,900. So, I have to first give a clear caveat that Michael Gallup may play this week. And if he does, we're less excited by Brown because he probably will take Brown's uh, number two spot alongside CD Lamb. But if he doesn't, he provides a very good option against a Washington defense, Michael, that has proven so far they can't stop anybody. So, uh, Noah Brown's in my lineup. I will say that if Gallup does play, I have a nice pivot here at um, at only $100 more at $5,000 is Greg Dortch. Now, he is a guy who also may be hurt by a guy coming back. Rondo Moore may return, but I think Dortch will be less affected by Rondo Moore. He's already passed A.J. Green in the depth chart. And A.J. Green probably is not going to play in this game. He is injured. So feel very good about Dortch as a pivot, pivot play off Noah Brown if Michael Gallup plays. Yeah, I like that pivot choice. And, and do like Noah Brown. I mean, look at the targets he's getting from Rush. I think Rush likes him. So I, I like that pick kind of regardless. All righty. All right, Michael, it was painful. I saved some money. Why don't you do so at tight end? So in essence... No Mark Andrews, <laughs> <laughs> who's looking okay. $1,500 more than the next uh, expensive guy. If you have a different lineup construction, I don't have a problem with Andrews in that shootout game against Buffalo, but I just, man, uh, in this lineup construction, we can't afford him. You know who is reasonably priced? In fact, a bargain for what he did this last Thursday night against the Steelers is David Njoku. Uh, he was Jacoby Brissett's kind of number one target. He looked fantastic getting open against the Steelers defense that has historically been tougher on tight ends. You know who's not tough against tight ends? The Atlanta 
Falcons. So to me, this is a crazy priced, you know, after what we saw this last week, I know he had a tough start of the season, but he's been found out. Uh, and, you know, Atlanta Falcons are bad against tight ends uh, and just generally against passing. I, I really liked what I saw out of him this last week. I just shout out that the game environment here is very good. A 26 uh, implied total and uh, a favorite Cleveland is. So great. I like that at $3,700. All right, Michael, at quarterback, there's really two options. There's a premium option at Josh Allen. Love his matchup. Love his ability. But since we picked Williams, Eckler, and Pittman, I'm going to go with the other option and save $3,000. I did not stutter. $3,000. We're going to scroll down to get to Geno Smith. Man, I'm not saying he's the talent of Josh Allen, but I'm saying is he's in just a good environment facing in the dome at Detroit. And man, <laughs> you usually can't trust coach speak, but the one coach I think you can trust is Pete Carroll when he blabs to the media. And he said last week they were going to open up the offense in a continual effort to troll Russell Wilson. They picked offensive linemen in the draft to annoy Wilson. And now they are letting Geno Smith cook, which is what Wilson has been asking for. So uh, last week he broke the 300 uh, yard milestone. This week he faces a defense, like I said, Atlanta's is bad, but I think Detroit may be even worse. I'm going with Geno Smith, Michael. How do you feel about that? Yeah, well, their defense is bad. So, you know, uh, Seattle's defense is bad. So they're going to have to try and keep up with Detroit, which means they're going to have to throw the ball. Uh, yeah, he had a rough week against the Niners, who are a premium defense, but uh, he put up okay numbers against Denver and good numbers against Atlanta. I think he'll he'll improve upon that. Uh, we have to save the money. And you saving the money has given us an opportunity to take a, a strong flex. You know what we're going to do on defense? We're going to pay down. So let's talk about what we can do with these, these $10,500 that we have left. It allows us to get uh, one of these premium guys. It's tempting to go with Devontae Adams, but Denver's defense is tough against the pass, and he has you know, maybe been not so great the last couple of weeks. So I'll, I want to go with Saquon Barkley at $8,000 uh, against Chicago. He's been used very well uh, this whole season. Look at the fantasy points. He has been putting up. Um, he's he. They're starting to showcase him. There's been some intelligence finally in New York, uh, and I think this is a, a a really good matchup. Not maybe a great matchup, but a really good matchup. Uh, and at eight thousand dollars, you saved us the money. Um, I think. Uh, uh, well, look what they are against the the rush there, right? They're they're ranked thirtieth, uh, and obviously Saquon's being involved in every aspect of the game yeah you cannot argue with 24 targets 24 targets and 18 targets so and he's by far the most dynamic player on that offense you have to feature feature him they lost yet another weapon of their wide uh, walking corpse wide receivers with sterling shepherd out for the season so they'll lean heavily on barkley uh in this one that leaves us twenty five hundred dollars and that we play the defense roulette. And I'll be honest with you, Michael, I don't like any of these defenses down here. Yeah. <laughs> that is re really cheap. You know, the defense that I definitely like the most, just as a pure defense, is the Jacksonville Jaguars. They've been so impressive this, this, this year. But you know who else has been really impressive? Is the Philadelphia Eagles at home. So that is uh, a little scary. Don't blame you if you choose to go with uh, Jacksonville. We're going to go with Tennessee uh, against an Indianapolis Colts team that has struggled at times this year. Although, remember, they do have uh, Michael uh, Pittman. Um, so, um, you know, if, value, if we can get some value elsewhere at just $200, uh, no offense to your Raiders, but I like the Broncos. Uh, a lot more or you can even go with Chicago um, against you know a a rather weak New York Giants offense 
Um, but we'd have to see if value opens up. What are your thoughts about this? These these lousy options at defense down below. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, Matt Ryan always has tended to be one of the highest uh, sack artists or becoming sacked because of how long he can hold on to the ball. So there's a you know a good chance that Tennessee will sneak in a couple of a sacks. Uh, it, Indianapolis isn't going to run up the score on anyone. Uh, and Tennessee, you know, tries to slow the game down in any event. So even though their defense hasn't been great, I think this is as good of an option as any. All right, Michael, that's our cash lineup. Tell us, traditionally, you give us a favorite GPP stack. What are your thoughts here on the main slate? Yeah, well, so... There's only one kind of option that, and it's actually two versions of it that, that really, really excites me, but it's super expensive. Let, let me guess. You're either going to go Seattle, Detroit, which you can save some money about the option. Or are you going to just go spending like a bandit uh, of Buffalo and Baltimore? Those are the two, I think, premium shootout. Games. Yeah, it's definitely bu Buffalo, Baltimore that excites me because of what the quarterback uh, receiving options have done there with uh, Diggs and, and Andrews being the, the two pass catchers. And then obviously either Josh Allen or Lamar Jackson, you know, uh, it's probably better to go with Allen because of how stingy the Buffalo defense has been. But yeah, I mean, that kind of ruins what's going on there. A lot of people will do that. So, you know, GPP, it's kind of let's go for bust or boom. Uh, and so I would I would say uh, the pivot is definitely to go with that Detroit Seattle game. But I'll let you tell folks who you would go with. Wait, 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 who, 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 who are your wide receivers? Sorry, I may have just missed it that you're uh, Andrews you're and Diggs. Whoa, what? <laughs> oh, you are definitely well, I, I wish I could see the rest of this lineup uh, that you're, you're putting together because you. Yeah, I mean, yeah. obviously, Gabe Davis is an op option. Yeah for for uh is a much cheaper option for buffalo mark andrews is by far the number one i think that's who you've got to go with if you pick that stack all right uh on uh draft kings they have really priced these two guys up no problem you guys play with it see see what you can fill out but here's just if you ask for me i'm going to stick on this game because i do think this is a great game but uh what if we used a couple of cheaper options you know gabe Gabe Davis is is someone who was coming off an injury the previous week and didn't do well last week. But you know what? He dropped a touchdown pass. He dropped another pass. He could have had a bigger game. And uh, you know what? You said there's no one else to stack, but I kind of like Rashad Bateman. And uh, he's at a cheaper price of $5,600. So these are the two cheaper options of your stack. You can do the full expensive stack that michael's picking or pick one of each uh you guys go for it tell us in the the comment section who your favorite stack of the week is if you want to see a full lineup with a stack like this we actually do it on our FanDuel show so when it's available it'll be on the screen right now as well as we did a show on yahoo check it out all right everybody take care and we'll see you next time stay safe